Hey writers, it's Mr. Schweitzer here with a little chemistry demonstration. I've showed some of you already the balloon and the flask, but I wanted everyone to see how it's done so you can really understand how it works. So I have here an Erlenmeyer flask, it's 125 milliliters, and I'm going to put just a little bit of water in it, a little bit of water. Don't have to measure it, um, that's fine, it doesn't have to be super precise. I want to put it on my hot plate and crank it up to max temperature. Okay, so we're going to use this balloon in just a minute, but first I have to get that water really hot. So I want you to think about what am I doing as I'm heating up this water? Okay, so we've learned already about gas particles, about liquid particles, about phase changes, boiling. Okay, so I've got this thing cranked up to all the way high. And I can already see some water on the outside is starting to evaporate. There's a little water on the surface of the flask, but I want to heat up the water on the inside too. And it's going to take a little minute. But I want you to try to visualize as you wait for this thing to boil, what's happening to the particles inside? Okay, so I know there's air particles all around me. They're colliding with my face. They're colliding with the walls. They're colliding with the outside of the flask. They're going into the flask. They're going out of the flask. They're going all over the place, kind of randomly bumping into each other. And now what am I doing as I heat up this water? I'm really making water vapor particles. So I want you to think about, as you boil water, what does it look like right above the surface of the water? What kind of particles are there? What are they doing to the air particles above them? Okay, and as I'm thinking about that, I can see now some little condensation forming on the neck of the flask. So I see it getting fogged up on the inside. Okay, now I can see a little steam coming out of the top already. Okay, so it's getting hot and I see some steam, but I really want to get it boiling. So almost using less water for this experiment is better. I might have even put a little too much in, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna let it keep going. I'm gonna use my little improvised safety heat protection. Okay, I see even more steam coming out of here. It's on the verge of boiling already. When I was a kid, my parents always told me that a washed pot never boils, but if you test that, you'll find that it is not true. And we're gonna disprove that right now. Okay, so I see a good amount of steam coming out. See a good amount of steam. I want it to get just a little bit hotter though. I'm starting to see some bubbles on the surface, so it's starting to boil a little bit. That should be enough boiling. You just need it to just boil. So I'm gonna turn off the heat first. I got some pretty good boiling going on in there. And I'm gonna use my improvised heat protection to take it off the heat. Okay, I'm gonna move my hot plate to the side. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is get this balloon on the inside of the flask. So I'm gonna be careful not to burn myself. I'm just gonna kind of use the balloon to press it down in there. Okay, now I wanna stretch this balloon out around the neck. So I'm actually putting the balloon inside out in the flask and the neck isn't that hot, so it's not gonna burn me. Okay, and I wanna make sure the balloon is open on the top, so it's open to the air but I have it wrapped around. And now what I want to do is cool off the flask because it's still super hot. So I'm gonna put cold water on it and you can see instantly that balloon is starting to expand. So the balloon is blowing up. So think about while I'm cooling it off, What's happening to all those water vapor particles on the inside of the flask? What are they doing? OK, 
Okay. So all that water vapor, as it gets cooled off, what's going to happen to it? So the flask is pretty cold now. My balloon is blown up. And you can see it's open to the air. So I can actually put my finger down in there and feel that it's blown up. Okay. So there you have it, balloon in the flask.